Hey folks, Grant from Gunspot here for Tolster.com. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you should properly store your guns when you have kids in the home. Guns and kids. Uh, there is a vast viewpoint on whether or not the two should mix. And r the real answer is if you have guns and you have kids, there are some things you need to do. First off, you need to tell your kids that there are guns in the home and you need to train them adequately on the do's and the don'ts. Don't just tell them, don't touch. Oh, you will unleash a, a monster of curiosity if you do that. And so my opinion is that as early as you can have a clear conversation with them, you need to do that. Now, with that said, there are some things you have to do. You can tell them till you're blue in the face and they're still going to need discipline. And so, in my opinion, you still have to lock them up if they're not secure. And by secure, I mean on your person or in some kind of a locking device. So here is my plan. Many years I've, I've talked to numerous people about the, the system that they use. And, you know, some folks are, are really big on, they want a gun in every room. And, and my opinion of that is, you know, a burglar breaks in, they're, they're closer to firearms than you are in most cases. Why would you let them have access to them? So, you know, if it's out of your control, it needs to be locked up. You know, I used to think that you could uh, place a gun, you know, on top of the fridge, for instance. That was my storage location when I would get home. And until one day I, I came in the home and I found my almost one-year-old son sitting on top of the refrigerator eating Halloween candy. And of course, I'm, you know, astonished of how he got there. He had actually made a way to push a chair, climbed on top of this, on top of that, on top of that. And next thing you know, he's on top of the refrigerator. It immediately gave me notice that a firearm needs to be either secure or in the control of adult. Even if it's just gonna be for a couple minutes or so, we just so easily get distracted by life, by phone, by technology. And the next thing you know, we've, we've forgotten that we left that firearm accessible to small innocent hands that don't know any better. If I am taking my firearm off my belt and it's not gonna be on my person, I need to either utilize some type of a safe device or if I'm going to bed and I need to have it at the ready and I maybe don't have a small safe device, I'm gonna put it in the top of the closet that way I know it's easily accessible to me. However, if one of the kids were to come and try to get it, they're going to have to make enough racket to wake me up or to, to cause me to notice. I'm not gonna leave it there except for while I'm sleeping and in bed. Once I wake up and once I get dressed for the day, that gun goes back on me or it goes in the main safe. All right, that's been Storing Firearms with Kids in the House. Thanks for watching. Remember, train hard, your family deserves it.